Now that Samsung skipped the number 6, the SN Note series share a number. And that's not the only thing they share. So the S7 Edge and the Galaxy Note 7. If you're in the market for a top-of-the-line smartphone from Samsung, these would be your choices. So, given that they share a lot in common, in this video, let's take a look at what the differences are and what you should probably pick. But before we get to that, if this is your first time here or in case you've forgotten, note it down. My name's Ash, this is C4E Tech, and let's get started. As always, let's start with the built-in design. At first glance, the build and design look very similar. Both phones are made out of metal and glass, have curved displays and backs, but look closer and you'd notice some differences. The curve to the back is a little more prominent with the Note 7. It's a mirror of the curve to the front and kind of helps a bit with ergonomics. That said, both phones are very slippery and the backs are fingerprint magnets. I can't wait for my slick wraps to get here so that I can wrap my Note 7 up. If you want to do the same, I'll leave a link to slick wraps in the description. Check them out. Anyway, the Note 7 is a little taller, wider and thicker than the S7 Edge. Barring the dimensions, there are five major differences here. Number one, the most obvious, the Note 7 has an S Pen that the S7 Edge lacks. More on the S Pen in a bit. Number two, the Note 7 sports a USB Type-C port unlike the S7 Edge which comes with the older micro USB port. So with the Note 7 you can plug in your cable either way. Well yeah, this means you can't use your existing accessories. Samsung has included a micro USB to Type-C adapter with the Note 7 in the box along with the USB Type-C OTG adapter as well. So cool. Three, the Note 7 has an iris scanner that brings with it an extra level of convenience and security that the S7 Edge lacks. And four, Gorilla Glass 5. The Note 7 has Gorilla Glass 5 to the front and back, while the S7 Edge uses the older Gorilla Glass 4. So this makes the Note 7 a little more durable. And number five, the display sizes. The Note 7 sports a larger 5.7 inch display compared to 5.5 inches on the S7 Edge. Though the sizes are different, both phones use Super AMOLED displays with, with a similar resolution, Quad HD. The display on the Note 7 is supposed to be able to achieve higher brightness levels, but given that the S7 Edge is already excellent outdoors, it shouldn't really make a huge difference. Now, underneath the hood, both phones are powered by either Exynos 8890 or Snapdragon 820 chip with 4 gigs of RAM depending on the market where you buy them from. I mean, Samsung is selling a 6 gig RAM variant in China for the Note 7, but we're not taking that into consideration since that's not an option for most people watching this video. Now, given that both phones were pretty much the same internals, the differentiating factor here is storage. While the S7 Edge comes with 32 gigs of onboard storage, the Note 7, the base variant of the Note 7, comes with 64 gigs by default. Now, given that these are powerful devices, you might install a lot of games or record a lot of 4K video, and believe me when I say you tend to run out of storage real quick. So the Note 7 does hold an edge here. Again, it's worth noting that both phones do have support for microSD, but it's a hybrid slot, so you might not be able to use it if you're going with two SIM cards. Again, in markets like India where they sell the hybrid variant, in other markets they do have single SIM plus dedicated microSD. So now barring this, the rest of the hardware remains the same. Whether it's the fingerprint scanner, the cameras, the water resistance, or the speaker quality, they are all identical. So I'm not really gonna focus on these. And despite the phone sporting different capacity batteries, 3600 mAh on the S7 Edge, 3500 mAh on the Note 7, the battery life is more or less the same. Personally, I actually expected the S7 Edge to hold an edge here, given that the display is a little smaller, but Samsung seems to have done a good job and the battery life is uniformly awesome across both devices. And again, both have support for fast charging and wireless fast charging. The next major difference is with the software. Both phones run on Android 6 Marshmallow with Samsung's custom TouchWiz UI on top. The Note 7 has the newer TouchWiz that brings with it rounded icons, streamlined apps, and a lighter color scheme. Well, all that's great, what really sets these phones apart with regards to software is the functionality that the S Pen brings to the table. So the S Pen is unique to the Note lineup and helps with productivity, whether it's jotting down notes or quickly sketching something, the S Pen makes it all kind of easier. 
And on the Note 7, the S Pen's back and it's better than ever. Very precise and natural. There's also some new functionality like the ability to translate, capture GIFs or pin notes to the always on display. And oh yeah, just like the S7 Edge, the Note 7 has an always on display. And now it not only supports pin notes, but also displays notifications from a few other apps. This should be made available to the S7 Edge soon. Now, since the S Note 7 also has a display that curves to both sides, it has all the edge screen functionality found in, on the S7 Edge. So you aren't really missing out on anything from a software perspective when it comes to the Note 7. The only con for the Note 7 when compared to the S7 Edge might probably be price and the dimensions. It's a little kind of bigger. But again, if you were looking for a smaller phone, you'd probably be looking at the S7 and not the S7 Edge. So let's talk about the price. The Note 7, yes, it is more expensive than the S7 Edge. It costs about $80 more in the US and 4,000 rupees here in India. But for that price, you get the newer TouchWiz, an S Pen, an iris scanner, a USB Type-C port, Gorilla Glass 5, a marginally updated built-in display with double the storage. And that's the key there. Just Let's just take double the storage. We've seen brands like Apple charge $100 in the US or 10,000 rupees here in India for doubling the storage. And with the Note 7, you're not just getting double the storage, you're getting a lot more uh, when compared to the S7 Edge. So, well, Samsung's overall pricing choices with regards to where the S7 Edge is priced at, well, that is debatable. I honestly believe if you are looking to pick between these two devices, the Note 7 is the way to go. That's just how I see it. Do you agree with what I've had to say in this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you do want to pick either of these phones up, I leave direct links in the description. Use them if you want to help the channel out. So I guess that's it for this video. You know what to do if you liked it, if you disliked it. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.